Okay, so when we last left our fallouts, we were wandering in the wasteland, fighting Kaga. Let's find our game. Let's go this guy. Okay. Got all our dead bodies here. Let's go to Vault City. Hey, there's a town. Chosen, the oh. spirits of our ancestors guide me to a world of dreams that I may touch thoughts. Our village suffers without the Holy Gek. Your hands hold our lives as a father holds his children. Oh, scary reminder from uh, Dwight Schultz there. We've encountered some scorpions. I should make quick work of them. Wonder if there's anything in this cave. Ah, uh, more death claws. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna go through the whole death claw thingamajig again. I am not that dedicated to Fallout. Shoot that stupid rat scorpion. I missed. Bang! Who else is left? This guy. He's dead. And then this guy. He's dead. Iron 230 hit points. Or, er, uh, experience points, I should say. Used up a lot of valuable ammo. Let's see now. Okay. I am close to leveling up. What you be Let's trade with Sulik because now that I remember, he doesn't have a pistol animation, so which means he doesn't know how to use pistols. Wait, this is me pistols. So give me give me your ammo. Wait. You have a submachine gun. Use the submachine gun. Okay, hold on. I was all confused and stuff. Okay, so you've got a desert eagle and some sh pistols and stuff, but you've got a submachine gun, so you should use the submachine gun. And what do I have? I have like not a whole lot of crap. I've got some uh, 44 Magnum FMJs that goes for the Desert Eagle, so I should probably take that back. Okay. Uh, you got it, friend. I need to know what kind of weapons you We be good with fist, spear, big hammer, submachine gun. We be a handful. Okay, well, I gave you a submachine gun, so we'll see if you use it. Let's see now. Um, put 
ammo. Whoops. Put ammo into. Put gun here. Ammo. Eight of eight. Oh, it's already loaded. Okay. Alrighty then. That's enough screwing around. Save game. Save game. So, um, what happened was I, I went to MODOK ahead of time, but I had a problem with my microphone uh, not recording. So, I'm going to overwrite those saves. And we're going to pretend that didn't happen. Hello, Modoc. A small, quaint farming community surrounded by vast fields of dead or dying crops. General Store. Hello, General. Sorry, this trading post is closed indefinitely due to the drought. I'm new here, what can you tell me about this town? Well then, welcome to Modoc. My name's Joe and I run this here trading post. We don't have much, just a few farms, a slaughterhouse, bros' bed and breakfast, and a tannery. Just... Just enough to produce goods to trade. Although that could all change with this drought. What can you tell me about the slaughterhouse? The slaughterhouse is run by Grisham and his son Davin. It's just east of here. He makes the best damn jerky this side of the Rockies. Rose's bed and breakfast. <coughs> ah, Rose's bed and breakfast is on the north side of town. Travelers from all over come just to sample her world famous omelets. Some say her omelets can cure people of what ails them. Frankly, I think that's just a bunch of nonsense. Tell me about the trading post. Like I said before, my name's Joe, and I run the trading post for MODOK. I organize trade between MODOK and other cities in need of food and leather goods. But with this drought, that could all come to an end real soon. We're getting real desperate. Where's the tannery? Just follow your nose and you'll find it. Can you smell that foul stench in the air? Well, not through the computer screen. That's the tanning vats, just north of here. Oh, I don't like vats. If you overlook the smell, you'll not find a better place to get leather goods. Balthus can work miracles with leather. What's the big white building in the middle of town? Oh, that's our town church. The people of Modoc built it to show their faith. Lately, there hasn't been much to be thankful for, so nobody attends the sermons anymore. Can I ask you a few more questions? What can I do for you? What do you do here? Now that's a good question. Mostly I just run this here trading post. But on occasion I'm the sheriff, mayor, judge, and any other official you can think of. Wow, you must be a very popular fellow to be entrusted with all those duties. Nah, I just drew the short straw. Shortest straw! It seems I was out getting some supplies, and when I came back, I found out the townsfolk went and elected me. Seems no one else wanted the job. Except for the occasional argument, I really don't have anything, anything to do. It suits me fine. Can I ask you some more questions? I'm looking for a certain item, and I'm wondering if you might be able to help me locate it. Well, spit it out! I can't help you if you don't tell me what you're looking for, and I sure ain't going to stand here and try to guess what you're looking for. I'm looking for the Holy Gek! Didn't you see the spirit in the sky? Well, you're in luck. I just happen to know where it is. I guess we have some business to discuss after all. Business? Just tell me where I can find the Holy Gek and I'll be on my way. Our only business is that you will tell me where the Holy Gek is located before something bad happens. That doesn't sound good. What do you want for this information? Ah, yes, what I want. 
If you hadn't noticed yet, our little farming community is experiencing one of its worst droughts ever. The rainy season was unusually short this year, and our crops are dead or dying from lack of water. To put it bluntly, our community is on the verge of withering away with our crops. Oh, uh, you do know I can't make it rain, right? Wah, wah, wah. He chuckles softly. Ha, 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 ha. No, no, of course not. I wouldn't ask you to do something as impossible as that. You really can't make it rain, can you? No, of course you can't. Anyway, like I was saying, we're in trouble and we could use your help. Okay, I'm listening. There's this farm at the outskirts of town where no farm should be. Some years back it just appeared out of nowhere. Are you saying that this farm just sprung up overnight? Yeah, right. A group of us were out hunting when we noticed the new farm, but that wasn't the strange thing. Soon after, some of us got together to visit our new neighbor only to, to discover that there wasn't anybody there. Go on. After many months of trying to contact the owners with no success, it was decided that the farm must have been abandoned soon after it was built. So instead of letting the crops rot in the field, young Carl moved in. Hmm. That's when things got bad. Carl started to tell stories of seeing strange glowing figures tending the crops and feeding the animals at night. We all laughed at him, thinking he was making up stories. Then one day, Carl stopped coming into town. What happened to him? Did you look for him? Of course we did. We went up there as soon as we suspected that something was wrong. He starts to tremble violently. The whore. The whore. Bodies strewn everywhere! Some crucified while others were left to rot out in the sun! I still wake up screaming in the middle of the night from the horrible images I saw that day. So let me guess. You want me to go to this farm and find out what happened? Yep. Normally, I would just leave that cursed place be, but for some reason the crops at this farm are still flourishing despite the drought. We'll starve if we don't get food soon. Will you help us rid the farm of these ghosts? What do I get out of this? In return for helping us, I'll tell you where you can find what you seek. Okay, then. Let's seal the deal. Cut off your right pinky finger. I'm not gonna go that far. Show me where the ghost farm is. This farm is about a day's travel northeast of here. He pulls out a map and points to a spot northeast of Modoc. Come back when you found something. Bye. Okay then. Modoc. Something strange is happening at the farm northeast of Modoc. Investigate and report back to Joe. Um, do you have anything to trade? Barter. Barter. Anything? Dynamites? Ropes? I don't know. Not really useful. I'll be back when I have more to report. What's on these shelves? What are you doing? Oh. I guess he doesn't want you to look through those shelves. You see a wooden door. Open the door. Oh, the crappy dump of the town. Hey, good looking. Oh, that's me. <laughs> What's in the church? People's. I hear that people have seen glowing figures during the night hours at the ghost farm. Okay. You see a wall. You see an emblem. This appears to be a religious emblem. Okay. 
The dogs are barking. Dogs be barking, yo. Where's Sulik? Oh, there you are. What you be needing? I want you. Give me some of your ammo in case I need it. Because I have a pistols. Just in case. That should be fine. That's it for now. What else is going on? Slaughterhouse. I bet that's where they slaughtered the animals. The Brahmins is is is. Moo. Hey, there's a cow. Talk to the cow. Moo. This poor Brahmin is injured. Maybe if I use my f medical skills, you fail to heal the. Brahmin's broken leg. Ah, Come on. Eventually. Maybe. I want to heal the broken Brahmin. No. My doctor skills suck. What is my doctor skill? 13%? That's, like, not good. Come on! Oh well. If I had a better doctor in skill, I could heal the Brahmin, and then she would follow you around, I guess. Okay. Moo cows. What else is going on? Hey, there's a guy. Carl used to live at the ghost farm. Now he probably haunts it. Wouldn't that mean he's dead? Tannery. What's in the tannery? Oh, a guy. Hello. Hello, my name is Balthus. I run the tannery here in Modoc. Can I help you? You seem a bit preoccupied. Is there something wrong? Huh? Look, I don't discuss my personal life with strangers. Do you have any business with me or not? Pardon me, my name is L1011. Now that we're properly introduced, you seem troubled. Well, I'm worried about my missing son, Johnny. We've searched everywhere, but still can't find him. I fear that maybe wild animals got him. Maybe I can help. I do a lot of traveling. I'll keep a lookout for your boy. I would really appreciate that. Every little bit helps. In the meantime, did you have some business with me? I have some questions for you. What can I help you with? I'm searching for an item called a Gek. Do you, by any chance, know anything about it? Nope. I'll be back later. We have to go find the kid. Please find Johnny. Let's inquiring. Johnny is missing. Find him and bring him home to Balthus. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Let's see, what else is there in here? It's not too much. Let's go to over here. There's this big old st uh, building here. Come on. Open. 
Hello. The name's Grisham. Welcome to my slaughterhouse. You dropping off or picking up? I guess picking up? I'm interested in buying some traveling positions. Ah, of course, of course. Let's see for traveling. I recommend our world famous dried Brahmin strips. Won't spoil on the road and it's tasty too. Only $10 a package. You interested? Can I ask you a few more questions? What kind of I do for you? Can you tell me a little bit about the slaughterhouse? Not much to tell. I run the slaughterhouse in Modoc. You want something slaughtered, you bring it to me. I'll kill it for you and make it into some of the best jerky you've ever tasted. What about the hides and other parts of the animal? You are quick, aren't you? Well, if you ask, you can retrieve any part of the animal you want. Balthus will usually buy the hides, and Rose will buy whatever scraps you want. She uses it to make soup and feed her dogs. Can I ask you some questions? I see the drought hasn't affected your business yet. Actually, it has kind of helped my business. Nobody has been able to grow sufficient food for the Brahmins, so they are severely culling their herds. But that's just a temporary thing. You have to look at the big ship. Big picture. With the decline in the Brahmin population, my business can only suffer. Can I ask you a few more questions? Um. Bye. Wait! You look to be a capable traveler. I don't suppose you'd be interested in making some money. That depends. How much? What do I have to do? And most importantly, how much? Smart as whip. You remind me of myself when I was young, simple. Some wild dogs have been coming down out of the hills lately coming looking for food. I think they find Brahmin easy prey and have been attacking my herds nightly. Wipe out their pack and I'll give you a thousand bucks. You're holding something back, you old coot. What's the catch? Perceptive as well as smart. I knew I wouldn't be able to pull anything on you. The catch is that for every Brahmin you let get killed, I charge you $100. I pay well for success, and I also charge for failure. That's the risk you take working for me. Sure, great. Head out to the pastures at night and kill the pack of wild dogs that are attacking my Brahmin. Come back here when you finish the job.